Yep, you see the title in the thumbnail, and we're about to do one of my favorite go-to recipes because it's quick and easy and it's cheesy. But we're going to do a Whataburger style. I'm going to show you guys how to make a copycat style Whataburger patty milk. But we're going to add bacon to this one. Y'all ready? Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, we're going to do a quick rundown of what we have for today's recipe. Back here we have our ground beef. We're going to use some brioche bread here. We're going to use the thick slice. Typically, you do patty melts on Texas toast. I couldn't find any Texas toast. You can use any thick cut sliced bread. It works. Right here we have our onions, mayo. We have some butter at room temperature, some garlic powder. We use some American cheese here, some sliced American cheese. And these two dishes is W sauce, lemon juice, sweet paprika, ketchup, red wine vinegar, some onion powder, sweet relish, Dijon mustard. And back here we have our black pepper. So these are the ingredients. Let's get to it. To get started, we're gonna make our creamy pepper sauce, and I think I can get away with this little dish. We're gonna add our mayo here. I'm sorry, ketchup here. We already have our mayo there. Some of that Dijon mustard, W sauce, lemon juice, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, sweet paprika, and our relish. And all we're gonna do is get that mixed up, and we should be able to accomplish that in this little bitty dish right here. Guys, look at what we have. Let's continue. All right, guys, over low heat, you want to melt about two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add a little olive oil here also. As that butter melts, add your onions, add your red wine vinegar, and some W sauce. And you're going to get these babies sauteed for about 15 to 20 minutes here in this pan. You want to cover that up and just keep an eye on it. And guys, you want those onions to char a little bit like this. They give the best flavor on burgers and patty melts. So don't worry about the char on it. All right, so we're about 17 minutes in. My onions are good, I like them like that. You know, some still without color, and then you have some with that char, which works out pretty good, gives it that balanced flavor when you bite into it. So I'm just going to pause our heat, actually turn it off and start removing our onions. I'm gonna add them to a, a little Tupperware dish or bowl and set them aside while we move on to the next step. All right guys, since I'm quarterback in this thing today, I'm gonna call an audible. We're gonna turn our cooktop back on and guess what we're gonna do? Some of you've already guessed it. We're gonna start adding some of that bacon. We cannot have a patty metal burger without adding that bacon. So this is the audible I'm calling. And we're just gonna cook this bacon until it's cooked all the way through. I don't want mine extra crispy. I want it to be, be a little meaty. I like them when they're a little meaty on my burgers. And as always, you know, some of the bacon is gonna be ready before others. So as they get ready, I'm gonna start removing them and continue to cook till all of it is done. All right, looks like we're good. So I'm gonna start removing all our bacon now. This is how I like mine to be cooked. Still a little fat there, not too crispy. And now we're gonna turn our heat off and we're gonna continue. All right, so now what we're gonna do is start preparing our bread. So you wanna make sure your butter is kinda at room temperature so you can spread this bread, I mean spread the butter over the bread. And all you're gonna do is spread butter on one side of the bread. Kinda like that. All right, so now that all our bread is buttered, let's head over to our griddle and get these babies on the griddle until they're nice and toasty and golden. All right, so now our grill is heating up. I'm gonna add a little butter here. And we're gonna start adding our bread here. And like I said, we're just gonna get that baby nice and crispy on the bottom. Sorry guys, so I've already flipped them over. Now I'm gonna get it a little bit toasty on this side, just kind of firm it up a little bit. Cause the other side was really, really, really uh, soft and I don't want it soft when I add my burger to it. So we just wanna get it a little bit firm like that. This is, this is good enough for me right here. So let's go ahead and remove these and we're gonna finish the rest of them. I'm just gonna sit these on a plate, put them in a warmer, and we're gonna do the rest of them, and then we're gonna come back. All 
All right, so we're done with our toast. We're gonna go ahead and get this removed. Let's go ahead and head over, let's head back over to our cutting board to prepare our patties. All right, so now we're gonna start measuring out our ground beef. Now I'm gonna take a third of a cup. You can make these babies as big as you want. It's totally up to you. I think I'm gonna do a third of a cup like this. I think that's big enough, a big enough burger for me. Especially if you're, you're gonna do a double patty. I think a third of a cup or a fourth of a cup is, is enough. And of course, if you have your a scale, which I do, I just don't have a battery in it, so I can't measure it out. I've been lazy and I bought a battery for it. I wonder if they have ones that have, um, that's plug in, because I always end up letting the battery run out. Sometimes I don't turn it off and it just sits in the drawer with the battery on, with it on, so it drains the battery. All right, so I was able to get six patties out of this. All right, we're gonna head over to, our, back over to our griddle, and we're gonna start getting these babies on the griddle. Now we're back at our griddle. We're gonna allow that baby to heat up before we start adding our patties. So as soon as this griddle heats up, we're dropping those babies on there. All right, we're gonna add our patty. And guys, we're gonna hit that with a little salt, a little pepper. And you're gonna cook these until your desired temperature is totally up to you. All right, we're gonna get those babies turned over. And look at that perfect patty. Add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. These are thin, so I'm gonna cook this for another minute or so. All right, guys, so it looks like we are good right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our patty, sit here on this resting rack or dish and we're gonna finish with the remaining of our patties and then we're gonna come back. All right guys, so we're good with our last set of patties. We're going to go ahead and remove these, add them here, and now we're gonna start building out our patty melts now. So we're gonna add a, our bread here, the butter side down. We're gonna take some of our sauce. We're gonna add it here like that. We're gonna take some cheese, add it here. Now I'm gonna add two pieces of cheese so we can fill out our bread. We're gonna add a patty here. Now you can double stack these, but since our bread is big, I'm gonna just add two patties here to the top like that. Come across that with some of our onions. Let's add more cheese. Some of that good swine. We're gonna lather up some of that, uh, that last slice of bread. And we're gonna add it right here. And we're gonna cook this until that baby melts. So that cheese melts and we're good to go. And guys, take a look at this right here. Look at what we have. Man, absolutely amazing. We're good. We're not gonna even head over to our cutting board. We're gonna cut that baby right here. And there you have it guys, a bacon cheese patty milk. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go and jump into quality control so we can do a taste test. All right, guys, it's quality control time. You know, we're gonna bring that patty melt to the front of the congregation. Look at it, it's so cheesy. Man, look at that, look on the side. Oh, cheesy. Let's go ahead and take a bite of it. Go, <laughs> we don't need to waste no time. Like I said, cheesy, oniony, bacony, beefy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man, just what I'm talking about. This baby is better than Whataburger. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man, listen, it's definitely another one for you to try. You can add whatever you want to add. You can add them jalapenos to it. Whatever you want to add, you can add tomatoes to it. It's totally up to you. Make it your own, but I like my patty melts. Really simple, cheese, meat, and bacon, and onions, and I'm good to go. So, to the end, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything, and remember, Mmm. Y'all hear that crunch? Mmm. I'm not sure. 
He just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace.